What's up, Andy from Dino here, and today we're going to talk about Dino Test, which is the easiest way to test your JavaScript and TypeScript, especially if you're using VS Code. But before we get started, if you haven't heard of Dino, it's a modern all-in-one toolchain for writing JavaScript and TypeScript. Let's write a test for this add function. We'll use the Dino Standard Library's assertion module from JSR, and beyond that there are no other dependencies. Let's run this test with the command dino test, which will run all the tests within any JavaScript or TypeScript file with the test suffix. And there you go. We just tested a TypeScript function without any additional config, like tsconfig or installing tsc. There are other ways to run this test. When you click on the test tab on VS Code, you'll notice that VS Code automatically detects all the dino tests. We can click this triangle on top to run all the tests, or we can run the test individually. What if we don't want to click run test each time? You can write dino test watch. Let's run that in the terminal, and every time you make a change to your test and save, all your tests will rerun. You can even specify which files or folders to watch. We can also measure our test coverage with the coverage flag. Then we can output a coverage report. Did you know that Dino Test can also type check code in your JS doc comments? This is helpful if you want to distribute your code to registries like JSR, which automatically uses JS doc style comments to generate documentation on the site. Let's add JS doc style comments an example code for our add function. We can test it with Dino Test doc. This threw a type error since I tried passing a string where it should be a number. You can also change the format of your test report. This is helpful if you want to feed the test results into a different tool or in CI. The reporter formats that the Dino test runner supports are pretty, dot, tap, and JUnit. Here is a version of each of those reports when running the entire test suite in the Dino standard library. And our last tip are these two Dino test APIs, Dino test only and Dino test ignore. Dino test only tells Dino's test runner to only run this test. Note that regardless of the outcome of this test, it'll always throw an error to remind you to not check this code in. On the flip side, Dino Test Ignore tells Dino's test runner to ignore this test no matter what. And that's it. Happy testing. We hope you found these tips useful. And if you want to learn more about Dino, here are some other videos to check out. <laughs>